This problem is long, so we're going to have to pay attention here. A balloon filled with 39.1 moles of helium has a volume at 876 liter liters at 0 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere of pressure. The temperature is increased to 38 degrees as it expands to a volume of 998 liters. The pressure remaining constant. We, they want us to calculate the heat, the work, and the change in energy for the helium in the balloon. And they're nice enough that they actually give you the molar heat capacity of helium as 20.8 joules over degrees Celsius time moles. Okay, so let's start with let's start with the heat. Because we can use the molar heat capacity here. We have a formula that tells us that the heat equals the molar heat capacity. times the moles times the change in temperature. So let's go ahead and put our numbers in there. So the molar heat they give it to us is 20.8 and I'm gonna as usual include all the uh, units in here. We need the moles they have 39.1 moles and they need the change in temperature so the temperatures increased to 38 and we started at zero so the change in temperature is final minus initial and that is in degrees Celsius so let's go ahead and cancel so moles cancel and degrees Celsius cancel so we're left over with joules and that gives us 30,900 joules let's go ahead and convert this to kilojoules so divide by a thousand that is 30.9 kilojoules okay so that's the heat we got the heat let's do the work if you've been doing the previous problems, we know that work equals negative product of pressure times the change. I said product, and I don't know the way I said times. Uh, pressure times the change in volume. Let's see. OK, so the pressure remains constant, and the pressure started at one as I mean, was the whole time one atmosphere. So the pressure is one atmosphere. The change in volume, we have the 998. That's the final. This is the initial 876. So 998 minus 876. That will be liters. So this right here is negative 122 liters time atmospheres. We need to convert this. Convert to kilojoules, which we have done before. So uh, we did it in a previous um, video. So minus 122 liters time atmospheres when we know that liters time atmospheres is going to equal 101.3 joules so that gives and and let's go ahead and go ahead and convert to the kilojoules so that gives us minus 12.4 kilojoules very quick I'm sorry I'm I like to cancel my units all right, we have the heat. We have the work. We're ready to calculate delta E. Delta E, the change in energy, is equal to the heat plus the work. And we have 30.9 kilojoules.
and minus 12.4 kilojoules as our work. And I'm going to put this in parentheses. And the final is 18.5 kilojoules is our change in energy for the balloon.